Morning, folks. Day soap is brought to us by uh, Sterling. This one here is black pepper and lime. Really do like this scent. It's very straightforward. It's black pepper and lime. My nose can pick that up. And this is what it looks like on the inside there. It I, the, the first note that I pick up is the lime, then the black pepper. It is uh, it really right up my alley, my kind of soap. Um, I'm going to follow up with the aftershave here of Uncle John's lime. Um, Alan Block, complete with rubber band here this morning. <laughs> and I've got the, uh, still got some Humphreys Witch Hazel that's got uh, menthol and peppermint in it. Peppermint being the uh, stronger of the two. And let's see here, Shaver of the Day. Yes. This one here is a Blackland Saber. It has a gem. A PTFE uh, blade in it. In other words, it's uh, Teflon coated. Uh, it's got this uh, particular shaver comes with two different base plates, and this base plate here is uh, the two dot. And this came, by the way, of Stephen Sprague. Appreciate this because I mean, yesterday I, uh, I woke up late. Must have been really tired because I don't even remember turning the alarm off. Woke up late was really determined to use this uh, shaver before I went into work. Smooth, comfortable, easy for me to use right off the bat. And uh, just, wow, just a really nice shave. Really like this shaver, it's pretty awesome. Talk about it a little bit more here in a moment. I've got the uh, soap whipped up here in a Crown King Scuttle. That's what it looks like there on the inside. This brush here came by the way of uh, Colorado Razor Design. It's got a synthetic knot and it's, uh, not quite as wet as I normally whip it up. See how it works out with this uh, shaver here. Already put a hot towel to face this morning. Coconut oil. I mean, yesterday's shave was just like, it was awesome. I was so surprised at how smooth and comfortable the shave was. Uh, just a really nice shave. Uh, really surprised. I, you know, I've had... The, the only shaver that I can think of off the top of my head that takes a gem blade that is as smooth as shave as this one here is a vintage shaver. And uh, if I remember how to, I think I know how to pronounce this correctly. Uh, it's a damasking. I think that's how you pronounce it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can find them online for sale from time to time. And depending on what kind of shape they're in, um, they have a tendency to run more than your, how you say, your average uh, gym single edge shaver. And they're available. I guess you might say they're just not a, as readily as available as, I guess you might say, the, the ones that you normally would see. And um, they, do, they do run you a little bit more. <laughs> they're not exactly cheap usually. Uh, cheaper than this one, though. But at any rate, uh, that's that's the only shaver that I know of that I have experience with that shaves as smooth as this one does. And uh, it might have been patterned, or the thought, in other words, was behind uh, that particular shaver, uh, creating a modern one that shaves just as smooth and as comfortable. Because I've got one, and it, and it does shave pretty smooth. And this one here, boy really impressed with it but i have to say um if you're looking for the cheaper the two and hopefully it's in good condition you can find a vintage damascene because it's going to be somewhat cheaper than this one um depending on uh how you well i'll just say that it starts at 185 dollars depending on uh the finish uh whether you get both plates or not uh, it's not an inexpensive shaver by any means but I uh, have to say, it shaves wonderful. Two, two dot, it just, wow. Very smooth. And I think for, I think for a lot of folks, that's their, their experience with a uh, single edge shaver that takes a, a gem style blade that is their um, first hiccup is that they, uh, don't get a very smooth shave with uh, with the shaver. 
whatever it might be. And this one here is really smooth. Well, like I said, it's not cheap, but it's, uh, how can you say, built to last. It's going to last you your lifetime. I don't recall right off of the bat what the uh, weight is on this. I've got a link down below for all this stuff, as well as the uh, gem blade that's uh, Teflon coated, as well as a Treat Super. Treat Supers are, uh, for me, uh, another go-to blade that seems like whatever shaver I use it in, it gives me some pretty nice shaves. And if you're looking at just trying a few of those blades, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements has them, uh, a five pack of either one of them, I think right around the 250 mark. Pretty, you know, inexpensive overall. At least in my opinion. This, oh, this shaver's awesome. Like I say, I woke up late, blurry eyed. <laughs> just you know kind of sort of in a hurry I knew I was going to be a little bit late getting to work normally than I w normally would get there but I uh, was kind of sort of rushing to get around so in other words my shave I uh, took a, I guess you might say my method of uh, shortening up the uh, time frame of my shave I did not wet my face in between passes and like I said, the shave was just awesome. For me, I could use this as a daily shaver without a problem. I know sometimes with a uh, single edge like this, trying to use a uh, use it as a daily shaver, uh, depending on the aggressiveness, uh, sometimes uh, you're asking a bit much of your skin. Sometimes you're just a bit aggressive. And some would consider the uh, Gem Micromatic Delpin Comb version, that being one of them that, uh, you know, that we're shaving on a daily basis with it. Might be a bit much for some folks. Really enjoy this shaver. Boy, this, you know, second shave with it, I'm just really taken with it. But I have to say, if Stephen hadn't sent it to me, 185 bucks, boy, that, that's definitely, that's not my price range. I Usually I see those, I, you know, I look at them, I drool, but no, don't even come close to getting one of them. Just not my price range. Now, Blackland does have a dart that is um, right at the $100 mark, which that's more or less like you at the top end of my budget, usually on a shaver like this. If I'm looking at anything more than that, it's because it's a straight razor. And then even then, I, I still <laughs> have a hard time. But it <laughs> just me and my budget. Then just, how can you say tight with the money? Uh, the the saber looks like the, that would be now it's not a uh, single edge by any means but it is a shaper that's uh, made by Blackland that's closer being in the fitting in some folks budget but sure it, it sure it sure is a nice shaver I don't uh now that I've tried this one here, I would actually consider it as painful as it would be because it is such a smooth shaver. But it would take me a good long moment before I pull the trigger on it. Just a little bit of feedback on the against green pass. Just a little bit. I am using my cell phone this morning.
still trying to learn how to use it. Um, I am using the uh, where the screen is facing away from me, if that helps anybody. And um, trying to get the angle right. It's, <laughs> it's interesting. My upload speeds of the video <clears throat> was, that's also an interesting thing. I had one day it uploaded pretty quick, then another day it was pretty slow. So I'm not sure what was going on there. I don't know if it's just the time of day because I was a little bit later than normal time frame when I was uploading it. So in other words, maybe it was more YouTube as opposed to my hardware. Things being busy. Face feels pretty good. Nice and moisturized. Soft. Really nice shave. As it goes for efficiency, I have to say that my face is pretty smooth. There's only like one, one or two very small spots where there's whiskers left. In other words, as you can feel, by the end of the day, you won't see them. Especially, that's one of the advantages of having a uh, a gray beard like I have. <laughs> it takes quite a bit before it shows up where somebody can actually see it. At least that I notice it. Allen Block is doing pretty good this morning. Got a little bit of stinging right there. Sometimes there's a spot... And I think it's what it is. There's a little bit of a bump or something that tries to come up and it during the shave it kind of takes it off, but got a little bit of sting way back over here. Still probably get, try and get used to the uh the shaver itself. Pressure and angle. But it is it is really a nice shaver. Just awesome. Really like this scent too. This scent is it's perfect for my my kind of nose. Pick up the scent. Know what I'm smelling. I like lime anyway. And the black pepper, in my opinion, in this one here, takes a back, back seat. So in other words, the black pepper is not up front. I have a uh, another soap. It's a hard soap. I need to find it and uh, use it here pretty soon. It uh, It's a... Um, lemon and black pepper if i remember right black peppers up front and that black pepper is pretty strong really adds to the to the scent of the soap though really nice i mean it, it gives you that change up and your routine may not be everybody's uh favorite maybe acquired taste for me for me i liked it it was it was very unique having the black pepper up front then having the uh, lemon in behind it this one here being lime. Lime. I like lime. I think I like lime. First lime, then lemon. As it goes for those two citrus scents. This was my first aftershave that I got from Uncle John's. And yes, I got it because it was lime. <laughs> I have lime sack from Club Man. I just, you know, for me, lime, I, I try to keep from buying a whole lot of lime. Lime is lime. And so I got at least two different kind of ma uh, manufacturers that make lime scent. But boy, howdy. Lime is just oh, awesome in my opinion. No, some people don't like it, but I do. Rather simple for me. <laughs> anyway, I had a great shave. I hope everybody's doing well. Have a smooth shave. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.